Hi, and welcome to this special report on the annual meeting of the Association of the United States Army, or AUSA. This year, the meeting is held October 12th through the 14th at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center in Washington, D.C. The theme of this year's meeting is Win in a Complex World, which is also the name of the Army's operating concept. Secretary of the Army John McHugh will be there, and he describes AUSA as a key strategic communication and outreach platform for the Army, one that serves the professional development of the entire Army to include civilians and family members. There must be within our Army a sense of purpose and a dedication to that purpose. There must be a willingness to march a little farther, to carry a heavier load, to step out into the darkness and the unknown for the safety and the well-being of others. Today's Army has nobly lived up to that epitaph. Chief of Staff of the Army General Mark Milley will also provide us his insight on the challenges that face today's soldier. The world has lots of hot spots all over the place. The United States is a global power, and if the civilian leadership of the United States decides to engage and use land power, then they are going to call on the United States Army, and the United States Army must maintain capabilities that are across an entire range of military operations, and we have to keep ourselves at a very high state of readiness. The exhibit floor at AUSA is the premier showcase of the biggest, baddest, most jaw-dropping systems being developed for the Army. And we'll be there to show you one of the Army's newest vehicles, the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, or JLTV. The JLTV provides similar protection to one of the mine-resistant, ambush-protected, or MRAP vehicles. The JLTV will soon be replacing our Humvees. But there's much more to see on the exhibit floor, as there's close to 300,000 square feet of display space, and over 26,000 people attend this meeting each year. AUSA is also the largest land power exposition and professional development forum in North America. This event consists of informative presentations and panel discussions on significant military and national security subjects. But don't just take my word for it. Sergeant Major of the Army Daniel Daly says AUSA gives the Army many opportunities. You know, we have to tell the Army story. And uh, the Association of the United States Army helps us do that. And during this annual convention, um, it's our opportunity to showcase what we do with regards to leader development, our current initiatives. One of my big personal ones that's going to be launched there is the Not My Squad initiative. That's really going to get at it's the grassroots approach to correcting the indiscipline that we have and putting responsibility and accountability where it needs to be down at the, uh, the, the junior non-commissioned officer level. But it's also an opportunity for um, you know, the public to engage. So when we have these panels, you know, they can ask questions, um, those hard questions that, uh, that they want to know and see what's going on. And uh, we have our great professionals, uh, a balanced team between our military people and our great civilians on this team that will be able to answer those questions in a bunch of forms to include our families. So we involve our families as well. We have family forums throughout the week that allows uh, our families to engage and be engaged by the public as well. It's a great opportunity to really exactly um, what I described is tell the Army story. Sergeant Major Daly holds his own forum to discuss issues affecting you, the soldier. You know, we're going to have the non-commissioned officer professional forum led by myself and the great uh, non-commissioned officers from CAPE, our Center for the Army Professional Ethics, that are going to present the, the NIMS workshop at the association meeting this year. And we'll have the first time ever a non-commissioned officer, senior non-commissioned officer uh, panel. Um, that's going to be an open forum in, in our, one of our large uh, areas so people can come in and they're going to talk about the future of the Army from the non-commissioned officer perspective. There are numerous events that occur during the meeting to include the AUSA Military Family Forums. We'll be there at that forum as Sergeant Bladjoy Paganchev and his wife and their children, Kelby, Kaylee, and Andon, will be recognized as the U.S. Army Volunteer Family of the Year. Other forums include the Warrant Officer Professional Development Seminar, Pre-Retirement and Survivor Benefit Plan Briefing, Army Civilian Professional Development Seminar, and many of the Army's key leaders will be there to provide us with the state of the Army, where we're going, and how we plan to get there. So as you can see, AUSA is all about our Army and how we will win in a complex world.